Hello there, welcome to Cartooning with Paul. Today, we're gonna learn to fly. That's right, today I'm gonna show you how to draw Superman in flight. So come on, let's get started. A little bit ago, I did a video showing you how to draw Superman from Superman the Animated Series. And now I'm getting bombarded with requests to show you how to draw him in flight. There are all kinds of different ways to draw Superman flying, and we'll go over a couple of them, but I got a special one that's coming up toward the tail end of the episode, so you're going to want to watch this all the way through, and we're going to learn together, so let's dive into it. All right, guys, well, probably one of the most uh, straightaway ways of showing you how to draw Superman is um, to uh, show him with his legs together, his arm tucked in, and uh, one arm stretched forward. Uh, so we're gonna go over that kind of a sketch right now. So if this is his head, right, and this is his chest, uh, we're gonna do a line of action kind of like this, okay? So we've got uh, what is the beginnings of his torso here. Uh, we've got his shoulders like this, so his waist should come in like that. Let's see. Um, uh, let's see. All right. So this is the most straightforward way of drawing Superman in flight. Right? We've got, let's see. Uh, but he's bigger than that. So rib cage, torso. Lats. Okay. I'm going to put one arm tucked in. And now I'm going to go right up through the center here. And I'm going to give you this fist in like that. Okay, I I overbulked him a little bit here, uh, so if I were to do this as a as a full-on sketch, I'd go back in and I would edit this quite a bit, man. Ooh. Okay. So anyway, so we've got that in, and we will throw in. Actually, I want that line kind of straight. as if he's being pulled very quickly. All right, so that's one of the more straightforward ways of drawing Superman flying. Then there's that pose where he twists his body and he's going toward the camera. They would use this a lot in all of the uh, promotional materials. So let's go over that pose. So if we were to, let's, Yeah, we got Superman here, blah, 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 right? Okay, so here we go. Here's, here's Superman's head, right? Then what we're going to do is he's going to be flying kind of toward us. Um, and his shoulders be up like this. This hand's going to be outstretched. This one's going to be tucked back behind him. So... Uh, we want to make sure the shoulders are kind of like here, all right? But he's twisting his body. It makes for a more interesting pose. And, um, and it gives a little dimension too. We got a lot of foreshortening in this sketch. So be aware of that, all right? I am going right off of the promotional materials, so. I do have a guide. I'm not making this up in front of me. I would need, it would take me a lot of time to come up with this pose myself, and it probably didn't come to them right away either. All right, so we got the S in here like this. We've got his chest like that. We've got his lats. Okay, now we're gonna give him a shoulder. And 
the foreshortening right here with his hand in a fist while this hand would come out and I'm just going to throw that into a fist shape here. So, now we're going to twist this body even more by pushing his cape like this. It's not perfect, it's getting there though. Now if this arm is pushed forward, this leg, his opposite side leg, is the one that comes forward. Yeah, he usually bends it, but it counterbalances. So if this arm is back, this leg on the other side will also go back. Or this other leg will go back or it'll just be straight back behind him. All right, and then the trunks come in like this. This curve here shows that this leg is coming upward. And there we go. Then there's the S, blah, 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 right? Okay. can't draw a face okay so now let's let's draw a Superman in kind of like attack mode he's going after uh, Mongol or dark side and we're going to have him going in an offensive pose so he's still flying right so what we're gonna want to do action pose action line um, yeah chest, his torso, like so. Now we'll throw in his leg in this position as if it's going forward. You have to excuse me, I'm just going really quickly, it's really rough. So if this leg goes forward like this and kneels up, then this one will go back. All right, so, and if this leg is bending forward, that's because, that's right, this arm is going back. Superman is winding up. Going for a punch. And then this hand goes forward in a flying position, okay? And because it's an action shot, it's an action pose, we'll want to really push that by pulling up his cape a little bit. Just like so. Like I said, there are tons of different ways of drawing Superman in flight. Sometimes it depends on the action scene, the mood of the piece. Sometimes it just depends on what the artist feels like, right? or um, the panel of the book and how much space is in it, how much space has been allotted for the sketch. They'll find a creative way of posing him so that he doesn't look out of place and yet it fits in with the panel of the page. So if you're interested, we can go more into depth than this. Let me know in the comments and we can get some more videos together like that. 
But for the main drawing on this video, I thought we'd do something a little differently. I'm going to take from a Bruce Tim drawing for inspiration, and we're going to draw Superman flying with Lois Lane. So let's dive into that one. All right, now when I do something like this, I like to get the, uh, the character in the foreground first. So it's going to be Lois, and she's going to be carried by Superman, okay? Um, like I said, this isn't a, an original concept. This came off of a, a Bruce Tim sketch that um, I've had for years. Um, I love this drawing. One year I was visiting the Warner Brothers Studios and I came across this drawing and I absolutely loved it. The guys let me make a copy of it and uh, I keep it very close. Um, yeah, let's see. If we're drawing Lois like this and we're gonna draw Superman like this. Okay, so they're looking at each other and we gotta remember Superman's girth here is very very broad shoulders especially in contrast to Lois right and uh, let's see his chest would go in here like that um, torso in like this uh, shoulders waist okay Um, doo -doo -doo. All right. All right. I'm going to draw another leg upward. Just like that. Okay. So. So I'm going to take the belt, I'm going to turn it upward like this. All right, I'm just going to streamline a little bit here while I'm down here. There we are, his trunks, like this. And then, okay. Just like that. All right, now, uh, let's see. Uh, he has to be holding on to Lois, so probably should put a hand here and in like that okay um, we're gonna give him his bicep and because it's a Bruce Tim design there is no differentiating between the shoulder and the bicep just comes down in one swoop a little sharp corner for the elbow and now that I've got that in let's define Lois's form a little bit. Oh man. You guys can hear that they're taking out the dumpster. I apologize. Battery's running low, so I gotta keep going. I gotta press on. Okay. So we've got Lois's legs in here like that. We're classy, we're going to give her a nice skirt. It, it's funny, it never ceases to amaze me no matter what Lois does, that skirt always stays in place. But a classy young lady. Okay, now there is one thing I hadn't done yet and I've got to give Lois an arm to hold on to Superman. Uh, let me 
make sure it's the same length, good. Um, and there. She's holding on. And let's give her like that. Superman is going to be holding her around the waist. Now, I'm gonna just sketch in between here just so I can get the Superman logo started here. We'll put that in at the end though. Now, let's dive into those faces. Okay, so, Lois was designed kind of nondescript for a, a, a Bruce Tim female. To be honest, um, you know, she is a major character, but they didn't really give her anything extra special about her design. She looked a lot like all of the ladies that Bruce Wayne had dated, which is probably why he ended up dating her in the Superman Batman movie. Got a little more respect in the films, I thought. Okay. Uh, let's see. I'm going to admit that this Lois is not the best looking Lois Lane I could have drawn. Here goes in here like that. If you guys want a more detailed video on how to draw Superman, I've got the video right here for you. He's got that pompadour hair, kind of like Gaston from Beauty and the Beast, a little bit, and then. flowing cape design. Whoops. There we go. And let's see. We're going to highlight here. Let's um oh the fingers. Let's see. Um separate separate separate. All right. There 
we have it. Guys, if you like this video, please give it the thumbs up and don't forget to share it with your friends. If you'd like to draw some other videos like this, I've got a bunch of how to draw Bruce Tim characters right here for you. I want to thank you so much for joining me today. And until the next video, we'll see you later.